Hey what is up guys, Tavi here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mask things inside of Final Cut Pro. So, masking inside of Final Cut Pro is actually very easy. The first thing you have to do is find a shot that you want. So I'm going to be using this shot right here, and the thing you want to keep in mind, you don't need to do this, but it makes it a lot easier, is having a clean plate. You want to shoot a couple seconds before your actual shot of the background, so it's easier to mask out later. So now what you're going to do is shoot your shot however you want it. I just have this floating guitar here. Then you're going to find the section you want and drag it into your timeline. So now that I have this in here, I'm going to zoom in. So as you can see, I have myself walking here with the string attached to the guitar. But obviously, I want to remove myself and the string from the shot. So it looks like the guitar is floating. The first thing you need to do is put the clean plate behind the shot. So I'm just going to take a bit of this empty part here and put it beneath the other shot. Now what I'm going to do is go to the first frame of that, go up here to the time dial, and click the hold button. So basically I can just extend this one frame as long as I want because nothing's moving. And now we can do the masking. So you're gonna go into the effects here and you're gonna scroll up to masks and then you're gonna go to draw mask. There's a lot of options, but we're gonna be using the draw tool in this one. So you're gonna drag this over and put it on top of your top clip. This little pen comes up and it tells you you can click to add a control point. So now what I'm gonna do is place a couple of these points around so I can mask out. This is a really rough mask, but it's gonna give me the idea for what I wanna mask later. Now as you can see the guitar is gone. I just got rid of it because I masked out myself but I want to flip that so I'm going to go over here and click invert mask. So now as you can see I'm gone from the shot but the guitar is left floating there. But if I move forward now you can see that the mask doesn't move and it stays in its same position and that really does not work whatsoever. It looks pretty terrible. So what I'm going to do is go over to the control points down here and click the keyframe button over here. Once that's clicked each frame you're able to move these different points how you want and it will save the location so you can have a moving mask. So this isn't a hard part but it takes a while. You're going to go in, I usually go 200%, zoom in to what I want to mask off and move the control points to get rid of the object that I want to mask, in this case the string. This can take a while but it's not really that hard to do. Once you've spent the time to keyframe everything you can get some pretty cool shots by removing the things that you didn't want originally. Anyway, that's it for today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.